Hi, so in the session of UMTS drive test, today we will study about some of the 10 drive test parameters. All of these are like radio related parameters, but we will be uh, studying these parameters in detail when we will be going through the uh, temps investigation tool here. But today we will just have an overview of these parameters. So in our previous sessions, we have covered uh, the various radio related parameters, radio interface parameters like your RSC, PRS, SI, uh, the EC by and not parameters, the block error rate, channel quality indicator and etc. So today we will also study some of the parameters which are here indicated in your TEMS investigation tool. So first of all we have WCDMA speech quality it means uh, now this block of parameters here will include a list of parameters which will be indicating about the quality of the speech so it includes like your SQI speech quality index which we have covered in our previous session also then SQI MOS speech quality index with uh, mean opinion square so these are basically just your uh, quality voice quality indicator measures which just indicates the quality of your speech for your down neck. Now we also have here speech codex that means we can check that what are the different kind of codex which are being used for this particular downlink channel. So we know that a uh, codec which is also uh, offered sometimes as a vocoder which is basically used to convert a digital signal here into voice or voice signal into digital. So we here speech codecs are basically designed for human users that's for human voice precisely we can say. So we have like your AMR codex here which is basically your adaptive multi-rate codex so the different configurations we can see there in your temps investigation tool so it specifies their mode also now after speech codex, the next parameters, the main parameters which we will be using for assessing the quality of your speech here, like your PESQ, perceptual evaluation for your speech quality, which is just basically a score for your 1 to 5. This is your Perceptual evaluation of speech quality. Now, a new feature here is, is introduced here for checking the speech quality, which is your called QA which is basically your perceptual objective listening quality assessment. So this is here also used to predict the quality of speech by means of uh, digital speech analysis. So various analysis of the speech is done and this uh, gives us a very uh, accurate measure for the quality of your speech signals. Now after WCDM speech quality parameters, we have other parameters which are offered by TEMS like your WCDMA transport channel parameters like your 
WCDMN Now these transfer channels are we know that the information carrying signal so it's quite important to check the performance of these signals so the performance of these uh, channels here can be uh, checked here like for example this will mainly uh, tell about the downlink dedicated channel so it will show like what is the type of channel like a downlink dedicated channel now we have to see the quality of this channel so it will be shown here with the help of your plus percentage that is the percentage of your block error rate so this is how you can check the wcdma transport channel quality then we have wcdma active cell or your neighboring cell parameters this is basically your active cell so for example uh, the software here this tool here can also tell us about like for example we are just uh, are using this with the user equipment and we have a sim card so the mobile number the imsi the imei number the mobile country code the mobile network code so all of these parameters or these values here these information elements here can be seen in your temps investigation here so this can this parameter here will just show you about like the name of the cell whether it is the active cell or uh, for example it is a measured neighbor cell then a very important parameter here for your WCDM and that it will be giving an information about your scrambling codes here then your UARF scene up your or your GMTS absolute radio frequency channel number it also gives the information about your serving RNC and the RNC ID here active cell which is your serving cell your measured neighbor cell and it also gives an idea about the detected uh, neighbor cell that means that's in the vicinity of your active cell the measured cell will be in your active setup date but the detected cell will also here be shown when we are checking the parameters for your neighboring cells here Now, like we have uh, certain parameters here to check your uh, parameters for your circuit switch to me. And so we can simply say that we have such kind of parameter here to check the voice quality here for your UMGS network. Now, as we know that we migrated from our like GSM system to 3G system so that we can have a higher data services. So we know that your existing 3G system is here inculcated with HSP which is your high speed packet access so we can hear the next temps parameters here are for your data services so that means here you can have the information about the session the session uh, information and the duration of that particular session so, or we can check here like what is the average throughput for your uplink and for your downlink which can be here checked through data services now we can check here for like hspa and your evolved hspa also so it will tell us about your these high speed sessions the serving cells the cell 
information here and the more important parameter for your data throughput which is to be checked is like CQA channel quality indicator which we have studied in our previous session then downlink share channel block error rate now this is the new channel which is included in your HSTP services so to check the quality of this channel here it can be checked with the help of your block error rate so that means you can have here HS DPA analysis your uplink analysis also then your packet data protocol context the service activation rates then you can also check if you are initiating voice over IP call so we can check that quality the quality of that call also here the codex which are used here and the HSDPA codes. So there are a lot of parameters which are here with your temp investigation tools which you can record and then you can analyze and after that the reports can be made and on the basis of those analysis your network can be optimized here so there are a lot of parameters which we will be studying here this is just an overview of the parameters main parameters which we will be studying here like we have for voice services also and parameters here are related for your data services also now after that we have a facility of like we can say that a feature here of scanning so this uh, basically uh, involves or give us an uh, flexibility of also analyzing about your uh, radio environment but what happens here is that here the control of the channel is mostly handled by the user rather than the network or your uh, uh, tool here you can particularly work for example or you can check here for CP IA scanning or your pilot scanning and for example your BC CH scanning here so that means it just allows you for example if you are doing the scanning with your temps phone here so it will give you about the signal strengths of your CPACH channel now the scanning here can be uh, done for uh, analyzing the coverage and it can also be used for analyzing the pilot pollution area so that means you can here select your own uh, radio environment it means you can just have the analysis of this particular thing here so we also have the facilities of like mode locking or your band lock that you want to just check for this particular band of frequency or you just want to check your EMT system that is the WCDMA or for your NT system here now you can do the scanning here for your BCCA channel also so this basically gets the information about your system information messages if you want to capture the system information messages on this common channel so it can be uh, done here with the scanning of this channel after that you can also check here the GSM 
cell, the neighboring GSM cells. Now, for example, what happens? Uh, there is a limited coverage by EMGS system. So what happens is there, the call is transferred from the EMGS system to your GSM system. So that means we should have an active set of data for your GSM also. So that basically will just give about your like BSIC or your ARFCN number for your GSM cell here. Now, after that, we have another important parameters, which are your handover related parameters. Now, handover is a quite important activity in your cellular systems. Like the user is in continuous mobility, so he's moving from one location to another location. So that means the handover here should be successful. So we have some handover uh, related analysis here in the drive test also, in which we can like move from one sector to another sector and we can check that what is the success rate of that handover event so similarly we have here some handover related parameters like you can check the handover event your soft handover event and the frequency of this event how it occurs and then the soft handover event success rate so we can check that with the help of analysis on this handover related parameters we can check that are the handovers being uh, done here successfully or not or we can check the particular area where there is a problem of handover also so that means the different parameters for example the success rate here will just give an idea that this is the particular uh, successful percentage of your handover occurring in this area so if that has a particular threshold and this rate is falling below that threshold so we can see that there is some optimization problems and up to which degree the problem is the optimum solution is to be applied and once your solution is applied there we can again uh, conduct a drive test there for that particular area so these are here some of the important parameters like which are provided by your uh, terms investigation tools which we will be studying in our next session so uh, this is how we can capture our various radio parameters. We can scan here particular frequencies. We can scan here particular channels and then we can analyze them. So particularly uh, like for handover, we have some parameters. Then we have the parameters uh, for like checking the data services also. So in the sessions, we have just covered about some of the parameters uh, which are just offered by your terms investigation tool here. So we will be studying in detail all these parameters with when we will be doing uh, the drive test with our 10th investigation tool. So this is all for today's session. Thank you.